Welcome to Krug Neocon 2016. Uh, we've had just a fantastic Neocon this year. We're going to start today uh, working through the healthcare side of our showroom. Uh, first, first introduction uh, to show you here is a new uh, healthcare seating series. Um, you, you can see a, a very interesting aesthetic, quite different than uh, where we've been with the other products. However, comfort and attributes match what we have in the other products. In the uh, guest and patient portion of the line, we have the same spring, uh, sinuous steel spring seat that we've been so successful with in the other uh, lines. The lounge, the complementing lounge pieces, um, are more like the Zola in their construction with a web seat and, and foam. You can see the tie-in of the products. You can also see various combinations here, open arm, uh, the closed arm or, or partially closed arm, and of course both uh, lounge and guest patient are available in either of those. We've carried through the characteristics that have been a win winning combination for us. Uh, for example, our seat sizes, the width between the arms at 21, 24, 30, and 44. Guest back, which you see here, patient back, which we'll see in a few minutes. Our, our standard back has some flex in it. We also uh, make available as an option the kinetic back, which in the patient series, certainly it's available in the guest height as well, but at the patient height, you get a range of motion of about eight inches at the back. Really a, a, an attractive feature. You think of uh, people waiting um, who are anxious and are, are able to relieve some of that anxiety. Certainly, um, as you get deeper into the hospital, in a patient chair, as an example, um, there's some departments, such as behavioral health, where the kinetic back can be actually very helpful in relieving that anxiety. Um, before we leave this, just wanted to point out the complementing occasional tables. Uh, there'll be round tables, square tables, um, uh, the coffee table uh, sizes. So we're just fleshing out uh, that part of the line now. This series will be available later in this year. Now let's move on to the next vignette. We have four different recliners on display here, and in the next vignette, I'm going to show you a fifth. This is a sleep recliner. So this serves as a recliner for the patient during the day, a sleep surface for the family member at night. It has two separate controls, one for the ottoman and a separate one to release the back. And as I say, with the, the ability to go right to flat. Moving over here, we have a three position recliner. So a different type of mechanism. There are no controls externally at all and your body weight is used to take you through the motions. As we see these first two chairs, uh, we have a wide range of options that could be added to any of the recliners. We could have a wood arm. Here you see a fully urethane arm. Here you see a wood arm with a solid surface cap. So more and more features available on all of them. I'll show you another um, arm possibility in, in a moment. This is a bariatric recliner. So not only wider, um, it has more foam, more support, and it has a capacity of 500 pounds. Here you see a tablet that flips up to the side. On one of the others, you see a tablet that swings across the front. So it depends what the requirements would be for the patient. Because we're in a, a uh, infusion or chemotherapy type of setting, there's also a heat option available in this chair. Your body cools down during chemotherapy. Um, some hospitals use heat, use blankets, others want heat in the chair. So that sort of an option is available. A really important option is the patient transfer arm, which allows the patient to, to slide from a bed into a chair, greatly reducing the probability of falls during that transfer. Let me move over here to the fourth uh, recliner on display here. And while on the topic of options, note the foot tray underneath. So that again is an option that could go on any of the recliners to support a, a, a patient uh, if, if they're in the, the sitting position. Note also, I mentioned several different arm configurations. Here is a padded arm. This would be the appropriate arm, say, in infusion or chemotherapy for two different reasons. One is the traditional arm was designed to have an excellent grip to help patients get in and out of the chair. In this case, 
um, the patient is likely to be in the chair for a number of hours. Chemo, chemo sessions could range from two to six hours, so we were much more concerned about having a soft, comfortable arm in that circumstance. As well, it's more useful for the nurse in starting the IV when, when they're trying to find a vein. Another important characteristic on, uh, that we're showing on this chair is something that we've, we've perfected over the past year. We showed our first powered recliner last year at Neocon. We solicited input. We had a number of concerns that were raised, and we've now addressed all of those concerns. Many patients who are using a recliner are weak, and yet we're asking them to, to use strength to move through the various positions. In this case, with the powered recliner, it's a matter of pushing a button and moving to the position um, that you're, you're looking for. We've added this feature to both the three position recliner that I showed you a minute ago and the, the sleep recliner that has a separate ottoman control and uh, back and back lock. So it can be done on either of those. We're really excited about this. We're, we're really going to be leading the market uh, with this product and we've spent the year perfecting it. Um, two of the criticisms that were raised a, a year ago, um, one was what happens in an emergency situation when, when you need to move quickly. We've been able to add the Trendelenburg mechanism to both of those mechanisms along with the powered, powered feature. Um, the other concern that was raised a, a year ago is the need to plug the chair in. We've now got a lithium battery, and yes, it has to be charged, but that charge carries, carries through for 200 cycles, 200 up and down cycles, um, so it's a fair amount of time between those plug-in requirements. Chemo case goods. Um, some of the, the really significant features here, you could see at the front of, of the unit is the nurse's uh, station. Um, so this would be used for charting, for supplies. Then if you move around to the back, you can see on each side, we have an entertainment center for patients. So again, in chemo, the patient could be here for two to six hours. We're giving them the choice of watching TV, reading a magazine. They could plug in their iPhone. Um, with the swing over tablet, they could be working on a computer, they could be eating. So the list goes on. One of the, the features that we're most proud of here and is indicative of the depth of research that we did in talking to people in chemo departments when we were designing this is we recognized that some patients come in and feel they're having the worst day of their life. Their, their objective is to have the nurse start the IV, put a blanket on them and leave them alone. They could come in the next week and feel a little bit differently and recognize that the patient in the next bay is going through exactly what they're going through and that in fact it could be therapeutic to be able to share stories. So at their mutual agreement, they could slide over in the dividers and all of a sudden uh, have the ability to converse back and forth. But it's their choice to decide to, to opt for privacy or the ability to socialize. One last product I'd like to show you while we're in this area is our car marker. And I'm going to come to this a few more times in this presentation. We introduced this last year. We're very proud of this product. Um, we've, we've got so many key features. Unlike uh, many of our competitors, we have a wall saver built in to the back of the chair. It's not an option. It's not something that has to be done as a special. The chair comes at 18 and a half inches between the arms, 22 and 26. Not all in this category offer all three sizes. What really differentiates us is all of them, even the 18 and a half inch chair, are rated at 500 pounds. Often bariatric sizes are at 30 inches, but in the smaller chair, it, it, it is less, and as I say, 26 inches in our configuration. But note the arms, note the shape of the arms. They're really giving you more than that 26 inches because of the way the arms are flaring out. This chair, this category of chair, was originally designed for an exam room type of application where a patient might be sitting them in them for 15 or 20 minutes. Our experience today is that the typical hospital has 500 or 1,000 of these chairs. They put them in training rooms, they put them in boardrooms, they put them in patient rooms, they put them in waiting areas. People are sitting on them for four hours, not 20 minutes. We've added 
um, an additional level of foam over what most chairs in this category have. Some uh, add that, that additional inch of foam as an option. With ours, it's a standard feature. From here, I'd like to move on to the next bay or vignette. Here is a fifth recliner. And I, I'm really emphasizing fifth because it, it, it is a great indication of the depth of our line. This recliner is a very small footprint recliner. It's, I would say three quarters of the functionality that we have in a typical recliner um, is available on this chair. This is, is uh, not only a successful chair, but widely recognized as actually a brilliant introduction. The reason for that is it is on the footprint of a guest or a patient chair. This chair is 21 inches between the arms. We also make it available at 24 inches. Recliners are very big pieces of furniture. Hospital rooms are getting smaller and smaller. The designer wants a recliner and is hard pressed to find the space for it. This is the solution, a very small footprint recliner. And that thinking has been widely recognized by the design community. Two great examples, we won the silver award at Neocon two years ago for this chair, silver award for healthcare. We took it to healthcare design conference in San Diego a year and a half ago, and we won a Nightingale on this, this chair. The other thing we wanted to show in this area is sleep solutions. We now have five different sleep solutions. We, we saw a few minutes ago a sleep recliner. We have a traditional pull-out recliner that pulls out, sorry, sleeper that pulls out from the front. As an example, we did a hospital uh, last year with over 500 of those sleepers in the hospital. Every single room in the entire new hospital had one of our sleep recliners in it. We have the Emilio, which is a fantastic product and I won't describe because it, it, it's not in front of us. This is a product that we introduced at Healthcare Design this year in Washington. And I'll show you how it works. It's a side pole recliner. Uh, storage is available underneath. And what happens with this recliner, or, sorry, this sleeper, is it pulls from the side and very easily and intuitively uh, converts into a sleep surface. So that was the fourth uh, sleep solution. The fifth is the bench sleeper. Again, we showed this last year in a preliminary way at Neocon. We took it to healthcare design conference. We were told we're right on the money. However, we decided to expand the options on it. First, let me show you how it works. It's a very simple pullout. By the way, one of the criticisms last year was you needed to pull it out just the way I did. Be in the center or else, because of the length of it, it could rock. I can show you now, I'll show you here, this can be dealt with from one end without fear of rocking. So we've been able to, to get enough uh, stability in the unit that there isn't a concern as the, about pulling it or open or closing it from exactly the right position. You can see again how simple and intuitive it is to, to flip it into the sleep position. Frequently, people look at this and say, can you see the seam, whether it's this way or horizontally, as we just saw in, in the side opening recliner. People then sit on it or lie on it, they can't feel it at all. It's a soft foam, um, the, the seam is not an issue. One of the other things we added since last year, and again based on feedback, was a back. This looks like a fairly thin back, and in fact it is, because one of the key features of this, this uh, sleep surface, sleeper is how small it is. So many of the people who have looked at this over the last three days have said, this is exactly what I need. I don't have space in the room, yet I need a sleep surface. We, we were able to add a very thin back, and again, people try it, and they're surprised at how comfortable it is. So the unit comes with or without a back, and with or without arms. While we're in this area, I'll point to two other things. Uh, our case goods capability, here you see a foot or a head wall. Um, we do a lot of work with head walls as well, and of course, the freestanding cabinets. The first product we looked at was a new healthcare series. Here you see it in the patient, patient back height. Uh, a very comfortable product. Again, our fourth solution uh, for the patient room. Also, something a little bit different for us is rather than a solid surface arm cap, in this case, we're offering an entirely solid surface arm uh, as a consideration. 
I mentioned the, the Nightingale Awards when referring to the active patient recliner. This past year at Healthcare Design Conference in Washington, we won the Nightingale uh, for Zola Privacy. Uh, this has very strong application in the healthcare field. Here you see it in what could be a waiting area. Um, th th this could be used in so many uh, different places throughout a hospital. Uh, it's, it's, we could do a whole presentation on Zola Privacy because of its breadth of application. But just think of that waiting area. Not only are we baffling the sound, and it's very effective at that, but think of a, a physician chatting with a family member and getting an element of privacy, or two family members who are waiting and being able to chat with an element of privacy. You can see on this um, how we've added power. Power can go on the side, on the front, on the back. Many, many options available on this product.